This morning we have a sneak peek at a Target 12 investigation that you won't want to miss. A local gangster pays the ultimate price on Federal Hill, and for nearly two decades, someone has gotten away with his murder. But now new information could finally close the books on this mob cold case. We're joined now by Target 12 investigator Tim White, who's here to give us a look at this exclusive story. And uh, Tim, finally, everything's kind of come together so that this mystery could now be solved. Yeah, it was a 1992 gangland slaying of a guy named Kevin Hanrahan. It happened on Federal Hill right outside what was called the Arch Restaurant. Um, again, 1992, he was gunned down, shot three times to the head. The new details that we're uncovering come in some court documents that are coming to light just a couple of months ago in, in a case that's not connected to this one. And what happened is just days before he was murdered, uh, someone made a phone call to someone uh, complaining about Kevin Hanrahan. And mm -hmm. tonight we reveal who made that phone call and, more importantly, who, uh, who was that call to. Well, who was this guy? I mean, why was it that uh, he, was, he was gunned down in, in a way that, I mean, almost comes off like a movie? Yeah, well, Kevin Hanrahan... Um, he was a scary guy. I mean, if you talk to people who knew about him at the time, he was a well-known mob enforcer in the underworld. Uh, he was implicated. He was a suspect in a couple of gangland slayings at the time. Uh, you just ran into him in the street, and you might have a problem. We interviewed for this uh, investigation Colonel Brendan Doherty, the head of the Rhode Island State Police. He was in the intelligence unit at the time, uh, and he talked about what the real deal or, or who, who this guy was, and he was a real deal at the time. And again, we talked to him for this investigation. A major player in the, uh, in the landscape of organized crime, known as an enforcer. And whenever Kevin uh, showed up at uh, um, you know, a bar late at night or whatnot, uh, he, he brought fear into... Uh, uh, whatever location he, he showed up in. So why was it that this was so difficult to solve? And also, who, who I mean, there, how much public sympathy is there for this guy, you know, who's, who's a bad guy, quote-unquote, to, to find his killer? I mean, why try to search for him? That was half the problem with Kevin Hanrahan. Um, the, first of all, we talked to a first responder who was there that night he was murdered. And a lot of murder scenes in Providence, when you get there, it is just... It, it's a mob scene, no pun mm -hmm. intended. There's a lot of people around. Mm -hmm. This one, it, it was a ghost town. And I, and I think that's because, there was the first responder said, no one wanted to be near it. The state police knew there were witnesses at the time, but nobody wanted to come forward. The other problem is, just as you said, Kevin Hanrahan was no Boy Scout. Yeah. And uh, as Colonel Brendan Doherty said, you could throw a rock into Providence and hit someone that would be a suspect uh, that would want Kevin Hanrahan dead. And that was the real problem with it. Very interesting. Well, Target 12 continues to track organized crime in Rhode Island. You're not going to want to miss tonight's mob cold case. It airs on our sister station, WPRI 12 at 11, and right here on Fox Providence at 10.